Researchers at the Advanced Structures and Composite Center at the University of Maine have developed a series of blast-resistant wood structures. These coated lumber systems have the potential for widespread applications, including military force protection, protecting government buildings for homeland security, reinforced structures for correctional facilities and institutional buildings, improved earthquake, hurricane, and tornado resistance in residential and commercial construction. The technology developed at the Advanced Structures and Composite Center creates a balanced system of coated wood component wall panels and studs and advanced connection elements for use in superior building construction. Conventional building panels and studs are coated to optimize bending strength and energy absorbing capacity, significantly improving their ability to withstand a blast. A 16 by 20 foot building can be erected by a team of 12 people in about 60 minutes with minimal equipment. The coating allows otherwise brittle wood to become flexible enough to withstand the pressure of a blast and the building components can be easily replaced to keep the building in service. Field tests conducted at the Fort Polk, Louisiana base in July and August of 2007 compared the effect of a 33-foot standoff blast on uncoated and coated panels. The coated wood of the blast-resistant wood system withstood the blast successfully. Additionally, the system exceeds the unified facilities criteria for inhabited temporary structures. The Advanced Structures and Composite Center conducted a test comparing the effects of UFC level blasts on conventional buildings and coated wood structures. Unlike the conventional buildings, the blast resistant buildings remain completely intact and dramatically improve survivability during the blast event. The buildings were subjected to multiple mortar and air blasts during the testing. Data obtained during these tests will allow for better computational models of the blast-resistant wood structures. This marks a move beyond the proof-of-concept stage and will enable researchers at the Advanced Structures and Composite Center to design structures with variable configurations to meet a range of different threat levels and types.